Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com out here for another gear review and today I'm talking suppressors, this little guy right here which is the Lynx by Acadian Armament. We'll go ahead and start with the what. It is a suppressor for firearms. That said, there's something kind of unique with it in that a lot of times you'll have like multi-caliber suppressors. So by way of example, you buy a 30 caliber can, you can shoot 6.5 Creedmoor through it or 5.56. This is made to shoot 5.56-223 out of a 16 inch barrel or longer and is actually full auto rated for said barrel lengths. But, comma, being half by 28 thread pitch as far as the threads in here, you can also thread this onto a rim fire. So you can shoot it on a 5.56 or on like a 22, which is pretty cool because on the one hand, 5.56 is just super loud. 223-556, it's loud. This on there actually does a pretty substantial job. Drops it down to about just under 140 decibels, which is still really loud. Probably want to wear ear pro, but gets rid of that concussive blast and kind of changes the recoil impulse to kind of more of a push. And you really don't have much sticking off the end of your gun, like pretty small and lightweight. And conversely, you can of course take this off of that gun, throw it onto any rimfire. So I've shot this a ton, especially with my boys, shooting through all different guns. A lot of different 22 pistols, as well as some different 22 rifles. And it is a pretty cool suppressor. As far as dimensionally, just over five inches, a little bit bigger than one inch, and about 7.3 ounces, which that's not super lightweight for a dedicated rimfire can, but it's really lightweight for dedicated centerfire can, and basically bridges that gap. And since you can shoot rimfire through it, it is user serviceable. Basically three different components, this rear piece, which actually threads on, and that is actually where the serial number is, which is awesome because should you have a baffle strike, that piece probably will not be damaged. Then they can replace the internal core. And inside there is a monocore and then ultimately a sleeve. Material wise, I wanna say 17.4 stainless, but overall pretty rugged and robust can. Who do I think this would be good for? Honestly, a lot of people just kind of getting into shooting suppressed. If you have a 30 cal gun and you're like, I need a 30 cal can for that, then obviously not the choice. But if you have like a 16 inch 5.56, then chances are you probably have a bunch of 22s. This is really cool. Allows you to go ahead and thread it right onto your 5.56. And with that, there's actually kind of a spacer, a threaded spacer, just because of the depth of the threads. So depending on how many threads you have on your gun, whether it is like an AR rifle or a 22, you can use that so that you basically have the appropriate amount of threads when this thing actually threads onto the host weapon. But been really pleased with it. Sounds great on 5.56. Granted, not as quiet as a can with obviously more value or volume rather, but gets rid of that concussive blast and definitely brings it down. And Really nice and quiet on 22s as well. Right here is five rounds of Jim Tech Subsonic with the Lynx. Go ahead and put this through it. Swap this can out. El Camino by Q. Five more subsonic gym tech. Some more gym tech subsonic, this time charger 22 with the kidney and armament links. and the Q El Camino. If you're looking at picking up 
Acadian Armament Links. You can do so a number of different places. Price-wise, around 400 bucks and then $200 tax stamp, but all in, about 600 bucks for a 5.56 suppressor. You can shoot on pretty much any 16-inch AR or any 22 host, which is always a ton of fun. But overall, pretty solid can, and I definitely like the flexibility it lends with respect to kind of those two ends of the spectrum. 16 inch or greater AR, or being able to throw it on rim fire. Pretty fun little can. But if you appreciate my content, want to support it, greatly appreciate it, whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbatcher.com, picking up stickers, KBAT target pads, things like that, or support me directly through Patreon. That stuff helps me go out, create more content for you. And if you have questions for me, happy to answer them. Over there on Patreon, we have active Discord, as well as DMs. Get all your answers, or all your answers, all your questions answered over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.